You think about, you know, the great designers, they're all doing beautiful cable knits, but they're not making theirs in Ireland. Our friends at Aaron Craft and our friends at um, Corona Knitwear, they are. Okay, this is actually the sweater that I wore last night. And I know we had a zip front a little earlier, but the zip front had the yoke detail. It was actually sold out in a lot of our sizes and colors. And this one to me has a little bit more of a elegant upscale feel. So, I mean, you could certainly get both because the colors are different, especially if you love a zip. As a knitter, putting a zip into knitwear is really, really hard, but this is beautiful. Now, I'm in the extra small, that is not my size. I wear a small, I just didn't have a sample of this one. So I just want to show you that it even stretches and forgives, although I would definitely wear the small in this. It is our Merino Wool Zip Front Cardigan with Pockets. It's absolutely fabulous. Um, we just got it back in stock. We added a new color, and it is your chance to not have to just think, oh, where am I going to wear it? You're going to wear this everywhere. If the kids are in sports, you're going to wear it to the early morning games, and then knot it around your waist or knot it around your shoulders when it gets a little warm. If you love the water, if you love lakes and oceans, and if you love to travel there, you need Aaron Knit. It's so classic. I think of Savannah with, you know, the ships coming in up the river. Just absolutely beautiful. This is a 587283. We just got it back in stock. It's the final order of the season. And I love that Emma and the team at Aaron Craft bring us a different palette every time there is a sweater on the air. So starting out, we have parsnip. So it's the first time we've seen parsnip. 250 remaining. That's it. On sale till tomorrow. And again, then that's it. You've asked for navy, but I want you to come close because this is called ultramarine and it's my favorite navy in the bunch because what they've done is they've taken a dark, dark charcoal, almost black and mixed it in with a brighter blue. That is gorgeous. So we talk a lot about the navy and black together um, when Court and I are together in shoes or like in a dooney bag. But how many in this one, Bri? Fewer than 400, okay. This last night in the 10 to midnight kickoff of the Rosa Tralee special was very popular. I won't belay the point because it's last call. <laughs> Two dozen, okay, but it is gray and teal um, woven together. It's called Peacock, but we're down to two dozen. Now, a lot of times when we have a beautiful sweater that you guys love and the zip front cardigan with pockets is one that you do, um, we add a new color and this is charcoal. So notice that we've taken a light gray and a dark gray and mixed it together. That's a more expensive yarn. Oh my gosh, the new is also last call, four dozen. And Brian, did I wear this last night? I think I did, okay. <laughs> Brian is like, Jane, you really expect me to remember what color you wore, but you know what, scarily, he remembered, I wore this. We sold 900 yesterday. That is half our quantity gone. And this is mulberry, fewer than 100. So mulberry's almost gone. Um, the charcoal is getting limited. Oh, and last but not least, I'm in meadow green. And if you get close to this meadow green, you'll notice that you do have the colors going through it. In fact, if I could say what color is sort of the um, inspiration of Connemara Marble with their 40 shades of green. I would just say it was meadow green. So Emma Cooney's joining us. And like we said, Emma, we saw the other zip front, but that had the detail across the yoke, which to my eye just made it a little sportier, more baseball-y, more fun, more casual. This has a little bit of an added elegance because the cables run all the way down the front. It's, it's just so chic. Exactly. So what we see here is more of um, uh, an elegant piece, I suppose, when compared to the last. But um, and we've uh, kind of used the the fisherman cables um, more uh, along the front with a background of a basket stitch, and the background of the basket stitch really gives it um, a lovely texture and depth at the background. But it allows those cable stitches um, to really pop out. Um, so, and then you know we've also used a beautiful honeycomb stitch on um, the neckline on the cuff and on the bottom of the garment. And I think bringing the, the same stitching together in those three locations really kind of brings the piece together. Right, so, Emma, yeah, a little, one yeah. update. 
The peacock has left the building, so I am going to toss it off to my buds. Peacock is gone. Everything else is flying. Just to remind you, we have meadow green, and, and this is a totally adjustable collar. So it's like you bought a funnel neck and a turtleneck, and you got a little V-neck. Instead of having to travel with three sweaters, you just travel with one. And then the beautiful Celtic zipper pool is almost like that bit of jewelry because a lot of our Irish jewelry, as you can see with the Clotter ring and the Katamar marble uh, cross that's very limited and my earrings, it often goes back to sterling. So this is meadow green. Here comes the brand new charcoal. We have it, last call on charcoal. We have it in mulberry. Fewer than four dozen, which also kind of is last call. We have it in parsnip, 200. And then maybe best bet navy. Okay, about 300 left in the navy. Oh, ultramarine. But again, come close. Can you talk about this yarn, Emma? Because I'm yeah. sad that it doesn't come even in more sweaters because I would buy this color in multiples. Can you talk about this stunning ultramarine? Yeah. It is so exactly. fabulous. It's so beautiful, the ultramarine. It's almost like a, a, a midnight sky, a little starry sky with the, with the fleck that's going through that. But what we've done there to give it that um, effect is we've used a marled yarn. So a marled yarn is actually spun. It's the one yarn, but it's spun with two uh, complementing colors colors um, to give it that lovely depth and texture. So in the ultramarine, you get that beautiful uh, navy against um, a, like a midnight blue. And it really is so beautiful. Yeah. It's a fabulous color. I think that Aaron sweaters are so cool because if you get it home and it's closer to your body, it works. And if you get it home and it's a little loose, it works. Like it literally is this most forgiving of fabrics. But can you tell us how to care for it, Emma? Because, you yeah. know, they are in investments. We know we're going to have them for decades as I've had in my family and I know you have in yours. So yeah. when we think about, you know, walking along a misty path next to the ocean in Ireland with the cliffs on one side and the waves crashing on the other and you're just kept so warm in that Irish hug. When we get back yeah. home, even if you're not in Ireland, you're just wearing it to, you know, the soccer match and you get back in. Uh, what's the best way to care for these beautiful Aran sweaters? Yeah, sure. So I know we, we hang them up here today to display them, but for storage, we would recommend storing flat, folded and flat. And then for taking care, you know, they really don't need um, a lot of cleaning. If, you're, if you had to clean it, we uh, recommend dry cleaning. Uh, but, you know, that could be maybe once a year or um, even less frequently than that only really as necessary um, and the great thing about merino wool is it does have a natural oil lanolin oil in in the wool and it does prevent you know absolute soakage so if you did spill something you could just dab it clean um, you will notice that it almost has a natural repellent uh, for stain so when I haven't worn one of mine maybe for a, a season or two I might just air it out um, outside but the the maintenance on these is is really minimal yes. which is fantastic yeah. i mean usually half goes in my mouth and half goes on me i'm that kind of an eater so i get it <laughs> and when i'm visiting you know a, a beautiful pub in new york like the joyce which is one of our favorites and you know you're just like surrounded by all that just wonderful Irish feeling. It's so great to have a sweater like this, but even if you're not Irish and you never go to Irish pubs and you're just looking for something, as you can say on Emma, who moonlights as a model, the woman is absolutely super person. Um, this is something that on that first crisp fall day you wear. If you are someone that lives in a warm climate, then maybe this is the only coat or jacket you're ever really going to need. It's a very California, LA feel. But let's take you through. Now, this is the final presentation in our show. It's meadow green, very popular, four dozen, ultra marine. You heard it here first, the coolest navy because it's twisted with charcoal, 200, parsnip, about 150, mulberry, three dozen. Okay, that's not going to last to the end of the show. And charcoal, sold out. Okay. Let's play a game. It's like, you know, doing the, the license plates, right? The state license plates. It's like, are there any left? I don't know. Um, 